Veronica Stanicka and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight. And today we have the spotlight on volleyball girls team here at Chicago Christian High School. And we are interviewing uh, Coach Van Assen mm -hmm. and the volleyball leader. What's your title again on the... On the um, I'm a captain, but I've, I'm a senior and I've been there on the team for four years now. So very experienced coach, volleyball player here. And um, so a quick question, um, what's your experience? You've been with the volleyball team for five years and what's, what's your background? Well, I grew up playing volleyball um, in the area. I originally started my head coaching gig at Mount Assisi where I was at for about 15 years until they closed. Um, and then I was, went to Queen of Peace and I was there until they closed. <laughs> so yeah, this is our fifth, my fifth year here at Chicago Christian and um, the girls game is just really um, my favorite and that's why I'm here. Do you just coach volley uh, volleyball or other sports as well? No, just volleyball. Um, I do coach some club ball as well. So uh, it's been a passion of mine since I touched that ball back in fifth grade. So Wonderful. Uh, Logan, so you are a senior in the team, and I have a lot of listing here of, of your accomplishments. It's amazing. I literally have to read it. Um, you've been starting for the varsity, varsity team since you were a freshman, uh, and you've earned a lot of awards, awards and recognition. So some of them are Conference MVP 2019, and the second team all state that year as well, and first team all conference and all area first team in 2001. That is absolutely phenomenal. Can you tell us uh, what was it like to accomplish all these you know, phenomenal milestones in your career so far? Um, I think it was weird coming in as a freshman for sure. And then my sophomore year, I felt like I had to play more of a leadership role. I wasn't a captain or anything, but I, I think as a player, I kind of had to step up when those seniors graduated. And that was kind of crazy to me to be able to accomplish all those things because that was not my goal going into that year. But like the team played great and it was a super successful season. So I can't credit all of those things I've earned just to myself. Like that's that comes from all the people around me as well. So so what would you describe your leadership style as? And clearly you weren't looking to be a leader, but you blossom into one. Yeah, I think I try and be fun. Like I know a lot of times people don't play super well when everyone's so super serious all the time. So I try and keep everyone calm and collected, but have fun at the same time. So I, I try to be an encourager for sure. Okay, wonderful. And uh, let me look at my notes here. I'm sorry. Okay, page number two. It's just once you get old, you can't really retain a lot of information. It just happens. Uh, so how does the team look for this season? Pretty good. We have basically everyone returning. We have two new girls, um, Elise Koistra, she's a junior, and then Nikki Swinney, who's a sophomore. So everyone's kind of the same, which is kind of nice because we're kind of keeping in the same groove that we were last year, but we're adding players that'll make our team even better than we were last year. So um, I think we've done pretty well. We're 16 and 3, 4. 15 and 4 right now. Four. 15 and 4, hopefully 16 and 4 tomorrow. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think we've had a pretty successful season so far. Last year, we had a lot of new people that really had not played on varsity yet and kind of had to step up because they were on freshman the year before. So that was interesting, but I think to be able to see the growth within everyone just within the last couple months since the spring season to now has been pretty cool. So. So how do you select the next person to fill your position once you graduate? Are they prepared? Are they, are they being um, uh, you know, presented leadership styles or do they just kind of walk into it like you did? I think people present leadership styles. I don't think like anybody just kind of like walks in expecting that. Like I did not really expect to have a leadership role super young, but like anyone can play any role. I think people step up to the plate, people grow as players. So I feel like I, I don't even know who would be captain next year, to be honest with you, because anyone, I feel like a lot of girls on the team would be able to play that role for us for sure. Oh, that's phenomenal. How is the captain uh, selected, just out of curiosity? Um, we vote, and then I think like coaches like pick from, like based on all the votes and stuff. So uh, That's wonderful. You have democracy going on there. Yeah, yeah, we try. <laughs> <laughs> so when, do you, when and who do you play next? When is the big match? Well, next week we have some big matches coming up. We have uh, Timothy Christian is, is one of our rivals, you know, in the Christian schools especially. Um, and they're coming to our place, so we're looking for a big crowd uh, to help support us. Um, our girls really do well when their friends and their family are in the stands cheering them on. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. You feed off of that energy, yes. huh? Yes. <laughs> uh, so you're a senior, and I'm sure you're going to get asked this question several times this year. What are your plans after high school? Um, so I committed in August. Not August, July. I think July 23rd, I committed to Western Kentucky University, so I'm going to play volleyball there next year. Mm -hmm. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been there? Have you already visited the school? Yeah. They courted you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of people courting her. Um, <laughs> but she got a good school in Western Michigan. They're one of the up-and-coming programs in, in the nation, and uh, it'll be a great fit for her. I can't wait to watch her on TV. That was one of my criteria, actually. Go somewhere where I can watch you play. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. You'll be on TV as well. You should be accustomed by it, you know, by, it, by, by the time you get there. Um, so any predictions for the upcoming season? Well, um, we're doing pretty well conference-wise right now. We always have our goals set to win a regional, to win a sectional, and our our ultimate goal this year is to get downstate in 2A. So volleyball is divided into four classes and we're in 2A. And uh, we think we can make that goal a reality this year. Wonderful. And so what are you going to study at the, the university? I'm not really sure what I want to study yet. I want to be a high school teacher, mm -hmm. so I'm not really sure what I want to teach yet, but that's like kind of the field that I want to go into. So, What draws you to that? Um, both my parents are teachers. So my mom is a first grade teacher and my dad is also a high school teacher. Mm -hmm. And I think listening to him talk about being able to connect with high schoolers and like young kids is kind of cool. And like coming out of college and being able to do that, I think sounds really fun. That's great. You're going to inspire them because you're coming in with that leadership skill. Um, so for both of you, um, what is your favorite inspirational movie or song? Well, I don't know if I have a favorite. Every year I do pick a song for our team. Um, this year our team theme is, the song is Warrior. It's by Hannah Kerr. Look it up. Okay. Listen to it. It's a good song. So it just depends on, on the group of girls that I have and, and what we need to focus on and what we need to work on. So it, it's changing all the time, but this year we are warriors. I would actually have to agree with that. I don't have like a ton of pump up songs or like hype songs or anything, but like every year we have done that. And it's interesting to see because I've been here for all four years. So being able to listen to each song and how it's different every single year is kind of cool because it just shows like kind of matches with the team, which I didn't really think about that until like you mentioned that. But it, it's true, like you kind of plan that out based on who's on your team, like what you think the team will like to and like work with best. So I think those songs that she picks every year are really good. So. Well, you sounds like you're a really great DJ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm going to look up that song. Yeah. Well, Logan, Coach Van Anison, it's been a pleasure speaking with both of you. I wish you grand success for the next coming year when you're yeah. on your sixth year. And I wish you grand success at your university. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I will be watching you on TV as well. <laughs> so I'm Veronica Stanicka. You've been watching Spotlight. Uh -huh.